Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at normal distribution using Minitab. We're going to solve for the probability of a value being greater than X. The average weight of a bulldog is known to be 50 pounds with a standard deviation of 3 pounds. We can assume that these weights are normally distributed. If a bulldog is selected at random, what's the probability that it will weigh more than 53.7 pounds? So you can see I've labeled my curve here and the area that I'm looking for is this area beyond or greater than 53.7 pounds. And we're going to let Minitab do the work. All right, so I'm here in Minitab. And I'm going to come up to the Calc menu. And I'm going to come down to Probability Distributions and I'm going to select Normal. So we know that we want a cumulative probability and our problem told us that the mean weight was 50 pounds. We had a standard deviation of 3 pounds. And here we want to use input constant. And our input constant is simply equal to the value of x on our curve that we're interested in solving for. And then I'm going to hit OK. And what Minitab gives us is it gives us the probability of finding a value of x that is less than 53.7 pounds. Remember that's the way this cumulative distribution function works. So the probability that a value is less than 53.7 pounds is 0.891274. So when we come back over here, what Minitab told us is that the probability that our value of x will be below this 53.7, we found that area here to be that 0.891274. Remember the characteristic of the normal curve is that the total area of the curve is equal to 1. We only want this area up here. So if we know from here down to the left is 0.891274, in order to find this area up here, we're simply going to take 1 and subtract the area that we don't want to give us the area we do want, which is going to be 0 0.108726. And I'm going to round that off. And I'm going to say that the probability of randomly selecting a bulldog have it weigh more than 53.7 pounds is 10.87%. So just remember that cumulative distribution function in Minitab is always going to give you the probability that something is less than x, so solving down this way. So simply subtract 1, and Minitab did the work for you. As always, I hope that you found this useful, and thanks for watching.